Hey everyone, happy Monday. Thanks for watching Motivational Monday with Jay. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. I wanna be short and sweet on today. And I just want to encourage each and every one of you all to remember the promises that God has given you. And don't doubt what God has spoken over your life. Don't doubt what God has shown you in a dream. Don't doubt the vision that God has shown you. Continue to hold on to the promise that God has for you. Sometimes in life, God may show us some things. God may tell us some things. And it's in seconds, we easily doubt what God has for us because one, we're in our flesh and because two, we haven't seen it yet. So with Abraham and Sarah, we all may know God promised Abraham and Sarah's son. Sarah looked at her current situation. She looked at her physical body and said, but how? She looked at, I didn't have a child yet. So she said, but how? That's doubt. When we ask God or when we respond to God and say, but how God? Her response was a laugh. Our response may be a laugh. Our response may be like, God, but it hasn't happened yet. Our response may be a cry that, God, I really don't believe you right now. So today, I just want, encourage, want to encourage you all to not doubt what God has promised you, not doubt the vision that God has given to you just because you haven't seen it yet. Sarah did not see her son before she had a son. Moses didn't see the Israelites being freed before they were freed. Some things God can't show to us because he knows she's going to doubt me. He's going to doubt me. I can only tell them and they may believe. Yes, but I can't tell them. I can trust them with that. So many things in our life we have to trust God in it all. We have to know that God is God. And many times in situations like this, God is saying, listen, I need you to be humble because you are too prideful right now. You wouldn't even believe me if I told you. Even if I given you what you asked me, you wouldn't even thank me. You wouldn't even serve me. You wouldn't even worship me. So I need to humble you so that you know who's given you what I've told you and you will worship me. You will love me, not for the blessings, but for who God is. So today I just want to encourage you all to not doubt what God has given us not doubt what God has shown us, not doubt what God has told us because it will come to pass. And some things we may not see. God had given Abraham a promise that he wasn't even able to see as of now his descendants, but God had given it to him because of his obedience, because of his faith in God. And some promises, some things that God has promised us, we may not necessarily see. God may say that we're going to be a blessing to a nation. We're going to be a great blessing to families throughout the countries, throughout nations. But we may not see that physically, but we still will be a blessing. So we can't doubt what God is telling us. We can't doubt what God's word says because his word is the truth. And that's what keeps us going. The last thing I think about is Abraham, um, Adam and Eve, excuse me, Adam and Eve in the Bible, they had everything they needed, everything they needed. And today we have everything we need and we still listen to the devices, the tactics of the enemy. And we still say, hmm, maybe you're right, Satan. And we still say, God, I don't know. I don't see it right now. I don't see that future spouse right now. I don't see that vehicle right now. I don't see that career right now. I don't see my clientele rising right now. But God is saying, but if you remain faithful over what I've given you now, if you remain faithful over a few, then I'm going to bless you. With Adam and Eve, they were in the garden. They were given everything that they needed. God told them specific instructions of what not to do and what to do but they disobeyed God and Eve allowed doubt deception to come into her ear and to respond to doubt and to say hmm Satan said I'm not gonna die but God told me I would hmm I'm not gonna believe God's word I'm going to believe Satan but what happened death 
spiritual death and they were kicked out of everything that was good so don't allow the enemy to deceive your thoughts don't allow the enemy to allow doubt to creep in when God has given you a promise when God has spoken it over your life when God has spoken it over your family's life when God has showed you the vision when God has spoken to you through a dream do not allow what the enemy is trying to deceive you under what the enemy is trying to destroy your vision what the enemy is trying to steal your peace and your joy when God gives us the fruits of the spirit of love of gentleness of kindness of self control so when we have those fruits of the spirit we're able to know peace i have peace and i believe what god has told me so i'm not going to allow anger i have the fruit of the spirit of self-control to control my anger to control this self low self-esteem to control the deception that i feel is creeping up on me to control the doubt that i feel is creeping up on me and we must know that what god has promised for us is for us and it is on his timing and not our timing so be patient wait do not doubt what God has spoken over your life to your life what God has given you is for you what God has given for your future family is for your future family be still and know that God is God and watch him be the ruler over your life watch him control your every situation watch him control your finances I hope you are blessed. Have a great Monday. Thanks for watching Motivational Monday with Jay. Have a great rest of your week. Love you and God loves you as well.